Hi there, in this lesson we're going to look at fractions and in particular equivalent fractions but before we go to there I'll just explain the basic of what a fraction is. So fractions are used to represent numbers in between whole numbers basically. The bottom of a fraction is called a denominator, the top is the numerator. So the bottom of the fraction is basically the number of parts you've split something up into, equal parts that is. So I've got a circle here split into five equal parts. The top number of the numerator is how many parts you've got. Um, in this case, I've got three green parts out of a total of five, and that's what that fraction represents, three out of five, three-fifths. Okay, um, now if we have a quick look at equivalent fraction um, table here, um, you may have seen this in primary school before, it's quite a common kind of fractions table. So what we see here is equivalent fractions look different, but they hold the same value. So I've got one hole at the top, and you can see I've split the hole into two halves. Then it's been split into three thirds and four quarters and five fifths and so on. But if I look more closely at the half, you can see that the half is exactly the same size as two quarters. So two quarters would be an equivalent fraction to a half. Two thirds would not because two thirds goes all the way up to there. It's not the same size. But there's other ones as well. And if you want to pause the video, you can have a think about them. But if you look at the half there, we say two quarters. Uh, the fifths is not going to work, three fifths is a bit more than that, but three sixths is the same as a half and two quarters. So you can say two quarters is the same as three sixths, which is the same as one half, and that is the same size as four out of eight, or four eighths, and that's the same size as five tenths, and that's the same size as six twelfths. And what you notice actually in each case of these equivalent fractions, the top number is half the bottom number. So 1 over 2, 1 is half of 2, if it's 2 over 4, 2 is half of 4 and so on. But you don't need to look like that, equivalent fractions can be in circular format or any format. Um, if you look at this first shape here, um, we can see there's a half circle coloured in. There's also a half circle over here coloured in, but we could call it something else. You could go 1, 2, 3, 4 bits are coloured in out of a total of 8. So that fraction there, 4 out of 8 is, or 4 eighths is the same as a half. It's exactly the same. Now let's look at how to generate an equivalent fraction without having a diagram and things. So let's imagine you're trying to start with a third and you're trying to create an equivalent fraction to a third. So this is possible by multiplying the top and the bottom of your original fraction by the same number. So I've got a third. I want to times the top by a number and the bottom by a number. Now, to start off, I'm going to make it dead easy. I'm just going to start with 2, but I need to really be careful in that I'm multiplying the top and the bottom both by 2. So 1 times 2 is 2, and 3 times 2 is 6. So 1 third is the same as 2 sixths. And if you look at this representation in a picture way, if you like, um, there's 1 third, 1 piece out of 3. And here is 2 sixths. Um, two pieces out of six. Now you can see that that's the same as the third. This red bit is a third of the total shape here. Okay, let's try it. You don't need to stick with two either. You, let's start a third again. You could you could use any number to times the top and the bottom by, but I'll just do one by three. So one times three is three, and make sure you do the same to the bottom. Three times three is nine, so three ninths. And again, if you look at that there, there's three bits coloured out of a total of nine. You can see it's a third. There's one part, there's it would be two parts, and there would be three. It's a third of the total shape. And again, I'll go with four this time, but you can pick you could pick five, you could pick ten, you could pick a hundred, it doesn't matter. Also, you, you don't need to start with one third, you could do two thirds and times the top and the bottom by the same number. But anyway, one times four is four, three times four is twelve. And again, if you want to see a a picture representation. There's four out of twelve. You can see it's a third of the total shape. One, two, three red bits would fill up. And again, you don't need to start with a quart, uh, a third. You could start with any fraction. And again, it, I'll just stress this point: it doesn't need to have a one at the top. So a quarter. I'll just do this quite quickly. Times by two, top and bottom. That would be two over eight. And I could times it by three. So one quarter is the same as three over twelve. And you could times by 4, so 1 quarter is the same as 4 out of 16. So all these fractions here represent a quarter, 4 out of 16, 3 out of 12, 2 out of 8, and then obviously 1 out of 4. And again, if you wanted to see picture representations, there's your 2 eighths. You can see it's a quarter of the total shape. 
there's um, three twelfths, you can, you can see it's a quarter of the total shape, and there's four sixteenths, again, you can see it's a quarter of the total shape. 